Welcome to part 6 of the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite video series. In part 6 we're going to talk a little bit about some of the extra tools that are built into Inventor LT. In this example we're going to talk a little bit about Inventor Studio and applying materials to your design to make your digital prototype look much more realistic. So a couple things that I've done here, I've added a black casting to the overall part and I went into the properties of each of these surfaces and made it chrome to make it look a little bit more like it's a machined operation, maybe drill holes, something like that. Now to add some additional detail to this design, maybe if it is casted, you know, I want to add some fillets to these uh, rounds a little bit. Again, make it look a little bit more uh, realistic and have this this uh, this 3D model really begin to become a uh, a true digital prototype. So once I go into the environments and go into Inventor Studio, I have the ability to just make a quick photorealistic rendering and notice that it brings over the materials that I applied to those surfaces and such uh, automatically. Now we've got some additional tools in here in Inventor Studio, things like scenes. So for example if I want a reflective uh, floor if you will um, I can just modify where the floor is real quick tell it what it, uh, scene that I want it to render and as you can see now I'm getting a little bit more uh, fancy, if you will, <laughs> with uh, with my renderings. Now, one more thing, we've got uh, the ability to include some lighting. We've got some default lighting in here, and I'll just add a blue hue to this. And just with a real quick couple clicks, I'm able to create a real nice photorealistic rendering from uh, the Inventor Studio tools built into Inventor LT.